So, I'm not too sure how many of you saw El Toro Ryan's recent video. It was a really good video. He had a lot of interesting information that he shared regarding Great Adventure specifically for opening day. And typically, I tend to not go with like rumors and stuff, but he usually has very accurate sources. So I'm not going to take this at face value, of course. I'm not going to take it as fact. But this is probably the most concrete stuff we've heard so far. So I'm just going to go over it and see what everyone thinks. For starters, this is something I saw coming. El Toro almost definitely will not be open on opening day. I think that's the right move. They really need to do a proper retracking over the offseason. And from the pictures I've seen from inside the park recently, there's still track missing on those spots where there was track missing last year. Turnaround is getting a lot of work, especially. So it's always really, really great to see. I'm curious if they're buying track from the original manufacturer in Germany or if they're just uh, fabricating their own. Personally, I hope they're going with the German stuff. And then in addition to that, Toro will open around summer. And for opening day, probably until around Memorial Day, Medusa, Runaway Mine Train, and Skyway will all be closed. And there's a couple different reasons why that may be. I think for me personally, the most likely one is staffing because I've seen on Facebook, they've been having this contest among all their employees where they'll pay them if they get like the most shares promoting working at the park. So to me, that seems like they really need more workers and they want to push it out there as much as they can. That's just kind of how it seems to me. So I think personally, it's just because of staffing. So they're only going to open a certain amount of the park. Another theory is that El Toro is going to be getting a lot of crane work in order to replace the track that needs to be replaced. So it's possible that being over there is too close to where the crane would have to be for El Toro. But then that also makes me wonder, why wouldn't you close King Ka and Zumanjaro too if you're concerned about people seeing what you're doing on El Toro? Because at the end of the day, you're going to see it better from Zumanjaro and King Ka than you would from Medusa. You could just block it off down there. So I don't really buy into that too much personally. And then the final theory, which I know a few of us have uh, subscribed to, is that they're going to be demoing the arena, the Northern Star Arena. I know recently I made a video thinking the Giga Coaster that has been heavily rumored for Great Adventures 2024 year has been canceled. And I still think that's possible. I think they only have so much time to start construction on that ride until I just say it's done and not happening. I've always thought it was a bit of a pipe dream. But if we don't see any kind of demolition or construction of any kind come like summer or Fright Fest season... I don't think it's happening. So it is possible that they're closing that area and taking advantage of that time in order to demolish the arena. But it also makes me wonder, why wouldn't they just do it during the off season? That's another question, too. I don't really know the answer to. But I'm curious what you guys think about everything I just said. All right, I guess I'll start. Um, we're going to cross fingers they're demoing the, the uh, arena because I think they're working in that area already. Might as well just do it. And if it's kind of like them waiting for the crane to come in, May as well just wait for all the equipment to come in at the same time, but I guess we'll kind of just see how like how it plays. But I have a feeling it is definitely for the staffing issue because this has been an issue for a couple of years now. And if this is the move, that means like oh, it can't be open, which is interesting just because Medusa is like a newer ride, technically newer ride. It's kind of interesting how they don't want to keep it open. So if it's seriously because of staffing, I think that's a little bit like disappointing on their side just because it is. It's a ride that everyone wants to ride just because it's newer. So now you're giving like a full month of month and a half almost of just like no one being able to ride it, which is kind of sad. But we're gonna cross fingers that they're demoing the uh, the arena and gonna see what happens. Yeah, um, I'm sort of with the idea that maybe the Northern Star Arena is getting demoed. Um, I'm also curious as to why, if that's true, why they wouldn't have started sooner. But knowing being a Jackson resident for most of my life, I can imagine there probably was decent red tape to go through first. Um, but maybe even, and I know this goes back to your video, Colin, about uh, the Giga potentially being off the table. Maybe they're demoing land there for something else. Who knows? It doesn't have to be a Giga going in that area. But um, I think staffing is the biggest issue, keeping um, that part of the park closed. Um, it. It sucks that it turned out to be that area because personally, I, I don't know, it'd be nice to have mine trade open and just as well. I, um, I'm glad we're not losing King Ka in the whole thing uh, because then you essentially would have Holiday in the Park in the spring, which would be awful. I also really miss Zoom and Jaro, but um, it's definitely staffing, I think, that is the biggest issue. 
I, I think the biggest loss, too, actually, is the Skyway. It's a great ride for families to enjoy. It's also like a great observation-style ride, and we're obviously down the parachutes, too. So, essentially, two observation rides closed. Uh, it sucks that it turned out that way. Hopefully, it'll be open by Memorial Day. They're anticipating that they'll have the staff for that by then, but um, I, I just hope it pays off. And as far as El Toro itself, uh, it's... It's not great that it's not opening opening day because I know the park had made statements in the past saying that they planned for it to be open for opening day. They probably used the word planned for it or the phrase planning for it just to cover them in the event that it doesn't open opening day, which is obviously now happening. But I would rather wait a little bit for El Toro knowing that they're going to make all the necessary changes and fixes and um, do a full, complete job. So that way we don't have this happen again, because you got to think if something happens to El Toro again to keep it closed for an extended amount of downtime, there might be pressure on the park to close the ride for good, which obviously none of us want to see. Yeah, that's uh, that's that that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the number one thing is staffing on uh, the reason why um, that section in the back is going to be closed. And I'm hoping that they go into Demo Day Arena, you know, that will keep hope alive for a giggle, or if not, not that, another coaster. And as for El Toro, um, I'm kind of like, it's the best of both worlds, a bittersweet. The bitter part being that it's not going to be open, um, opening on opening day. However, I'd rather see El Toro them go the long route and do it the right way. And this time, you know, a third time, it won't have any problems. And it'd be good just like 2006. The first three or four years, uh, which was great, just like your dad alluded to. So, yeah, that's my take on it. If that side of the park is closed, it's hands down a staffing issue. The park is severely having tr trouble getting kids working. So anyone out there that's listening to this, like if you're there and you have family members or someone that needs a job or that's that high school age, apply because they are hurting bad for um, workers. And, you know, I worked there when I was in high school and Tom also worked at the – it's a great – job opportunity great high school job really um meet a lot of people good experience um but if that area is in fact closed it's going to be because of staffing they're just they're badly hurting um the demo of that arena it needs to come down the, the arena is like not safe to be in so either way the arena should come down eventually but like for giga wise and everything You'd have to have that down by now because you got to level out the ground. You got to let the ground settle before you can start digging footers and stuff. There's a lot more prep work to the ground. So maybe they're clearing. If it does come down and they're clearing, it's probably not a giga, but maybe a future expansion. I can attest to all of what Brian said. Definitely, if you're close by to the park looking for like a side job or a, a first job, perhaps Great Adventure is an excellent place to go for it. Um, and they can certainly use the help with staffing. Um, you'll, you'll learn so much there. And I, I still have great friends from when I worked there that I still talk to. It's great. Um, I can't recommend working at the park enough. It's It was a great time. I'm sure a lot's changed, but I'm sure for the better, too. And um, yeah, it's definitely a great job, especially uh, in the rides department. I would definitely say go rides. Yeah, I definitely echo that. If you have the availability, if you're close enough, if you're of age, definitely go work at Great Adventure. I know they've been having staffing issues since last season, and I'm sure, like uh, my dad said in the chat, Adventure Crossing probably isn't helping as there's even more staff requirements over there now, too. So if you're available for a job, if you need a job, go work at Great Adventure because they could definitely use you, I'm sure. And I'm pretty much convinced at this point that I've heard everyone talk that the whole Medusa, Mine Train, Skyway rumored to be closed on opening day. I think that's a staffing issue. I mean, if they were going to demo the arena, they probably would have done it now unless they had issues getting demo permits or anything along those lines, like Tom said. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I stand on all that. What's nice, though, is that Barnstormer should be open on opening day. Hopefully. I hope it is. I mean, from our aerial shots we got a few weeks ago, it definitely looked pretty close to completion. I think all they really need to do is lay some concrete down, get that ride uh, inspected by state of New Jersey and they're probably good to go. So at least there's that to probably look forward to on opening day. And of course, King Ka because who doesn't love King Ka? but yeah, 